a standard demand curve shows a negative relationship between price and quantity demanded, indicating that a lower quantity will be demanded if there is an increase in the price and vice versa. However, there is an exception in every general rule. There are cases where the demand curve slopes a slope upward from the lower left to the upper right, indicating that more is purchased even though the price is high and less is bought at a lower price. In such a situation, we say the demand curve is abnormal. Here, we have three reasons for the exceptional demand curve. Number one, given paradox. Number two, Veblen or demonstration effect. Number three, speculative effect. In case of certain inferior goods called given goods, when the price falls, quite often less quantity will be purchased than before because of the negative income effect and people's increasing preference for a superior commodity with a rise in their real income. Few appropriate examples may be listed such as cheap potatoes, broken rice, cheap bread, vegetable ghee, and etc. as against superior commodities like good potatoes, cake, and pure geese. The given good or inferior good is an exception to the law of demand. When the price of an inferior good falls, the poor will buy less and vice versa. The Veblen effect is one more example of an exceptional demand curve. Through the people doctrine of conspicuous consumption, rich people buy certain goods because they give social distinction or prestige. Examples of goods are diamonds and luxury cars. The more expensive these commodities become, the higher their value as a status symbol and hence, the greater the demand for them. If the commodity's price increases, then the consumer will buy more of it of the expectation that it will increase further. For example, speculators in the stock exchange will buy more shares if the price of the shares shows a rising trend. 